morning students today we are going to start with editing so we learned the topic tenses isn't it so uh, editing means you some error is there here as far as tenses is concerned your incorrect tense is used in each sentence so we have to read the uh, paragraph given then each line has an error in it understood so for your examination it is not that only tense based question will be coming it will be in one sentence it will be an article is incorrect used that is also what uh, editing only in one sentence the tense is incorrect tense is used so it will be mixed up uh, that type of exercise will be coming but now at present i am going to uh, teach you about an editing based simply based on the incorrect uh, uh word tense is used that you have to edit so let us uh, do this exercise and afterwards i will send you the homework then you have to do the exercise and we will discuss it how we are supposed to do this exercise this is uh, line wise in each line one incorrect word is there so you have to read as a whole the full paragraph you have to read and then each line you have to see which word is the incorrect one so first we have to write the error which word incorrect word which is the incorrect word and how did you correct that uh, the error understood that means the incorrect word has to be right first then the second you have to write the correct word just have a look i disliked max calada even before i know him did you see so in, in the first line i dislike mass max calada even before i know him which is the incorrect word here no is the incorrect word yeah so that we have to write here that is the error in the first line what's the correction you will know you do you know you do here i dislike max calada even before i knew him even before i knew him so in correction will be new understood did you understand here uh, that this exercise is simply based on tenses so the incorrect tense is used in each line second line you read the war has just finished and the traffic was heavy so the war has just finished it is completed action so which is the incorrect word here has which will be the correct word had do you understand then in the third line i was found i was found some accommodation but it happens that is the second line i was found did you say that i was found the war war has just finished and the traffic was heavy i was found the which is the incorrect word was it is the correct word had which is the correct word had next you see next one uh, i was found some accommodation but it happens it happens here the incorrect word is happens which is the correct word happened then happened to be with kelada i feel so disgusted which is the incorrect word here feel which is the correct word felt i was thankful though for being gave for being gave alla which is the incorrect word gave being given next one given a cabin in which there are only two there are are is incorrect which is the correct word there there are only two bugs next i have hardly entered i have hardly entered or no it incorrect is have it is the correct word had clear this is called editing so there are two different types of editing is there one is the incorrect word is given and you have to do the correction the other one is one word is 
missing then you have to write the correct word according to the contest clear that is the two types of editing and this exercise is over next we are going to do the second exercise the next type of exercise we are going to do that is uh, choose the correct uh, form of verb given uh, in the brackets so here just uh, just have a look today i dash 70 years old today i am today it is the option correct today i am 70 years old it is the correct option today i am 70 years old when i was dash my brother when i was 30 my brother sorry when i was 30 my brother dash to me my brother said to me you dash no longer a boy you dash no longer a boy you are you are this is the correct option you are no longer a boy at 60 i dash myself from the theater i withdrew myself from the theater i withdrew here is the option withdrew myself from the theater and i dash the summing up i dash which is the correct option i wrote the summing up i wrote this is the correct option i try to review what i i try to review what i had learned what i had learned i had learned from life what i dash and what satisfaction it had brought to me what i had done what i had done and what satisfaction it brought to me but just how of all an anniversaries i think the 70th the 70th is the 70th is the most important this is the way we have to do this exercise clear so there are two types we learn one is the correct uh, incorrect word is given you have to do the correct word that is called editing and this is the you have to choose the correct option given inside the bracket that's also correct verb form you have to choose now i'll uh, give you along with this the homework also Morning students the lesson is the little girl the new lesson 
it is written by Catherine Mansfield Murray. Actually, uh, she had uh, she wrote stories and uh, under her poetry or stories and poetry under her pen name Catherine Mansfield. Her full name is actual name is Catherine Mansfield Murray. Clear? She was a more prominent modernist writer who was born and brought up in New Zealand. She, uh, she actually afterwards she is uh, migrated to England and all. And uh, she, she was born in 1888 and she died at the age of 34, clear? And in the, uh, before you read, a few questions are there because this lesson is about a girl and how uh, the girl's attitude towards her father changes. That is the story. Now, it is written for you. Do you feel you know your parents better now than when you were much younger? Perhaps you now understand the reasons for some of their actions that used to upset you earlier. Why did the author ask you such question? Because when you were young, very young, you now also you are young only, very young, the father and mother used to tell you not, you are not allowed to go outside alone. You are not supposed to visit your friend's house alone, isn't it? Some reason is there. Why? It is because of the uh, security reasons, isn't it? Now you are understanding at that age when you are at 5 years old or 6 years old, you can't understand why father or mother is uh, not allowing you to go alone. Now next uh, question is this story about a little girl whose feelings for her father change from fear to understanding will probably find an echo in every home. Now what is an echo in every home means in each and every home such type of incidents are happening. That is what the author wanted to tell you. Now let us uh, start, to the little girl he was a figure to be feared and avoided, to the little girl he was a figure to be feared, figure to be feared means a person to be feared, what is, uh, uh, who is the figure uh, mentioned here, the father, the little girl, uh, he was a figure, here he is the father, uh, was a person to be afraid and avoided. She always wanted to avoid whom? Avoid her father. Every morning before going to work, he came into her room and gave her a casual kiss to which she responded with goodbye father. So every morning before going to the office, the father used to visit whose room? The girl's room and gave her a casual kiss. What is meant by casual? Casual means without deep affection. Just for the sake of giving kiss, she he is to give her uh, his daughter a kiss, and she also responded with goodbye, father. Well, what is the reply she is to give to him? Goodbye, father. And oh, there was a glad sense of relief when she heard the noise of the carriage going, growing fainter and fainter down the long road. That is, oh, there was a, a glad sense of relief. Relief means comfort. When she hears the vehicle sound is going uh, fainter and fainter. Fainter means it, it is going to be disappeared. It means very slowly, slowly, slowly it disappears, isn't it? So, when she hears the sound of the carriage going, she is to have a very comfort, she feels. Why? Because she was always afraid of her father. She was always in his presence, she used to be always upset. That is why when, his, uh, when her father goes to office, she is to be relieved. In the evening, when he came home, she stood near the staircase and heard his loud voice in the hall. So, in the evening time, he used to come back from the office. What, what, what did this girl do? Uh, she stood near the staircase. She used to stand near the staircase and hear his loud voice in the hall. She used to here, whose voice? The father's voice. Where? In the hall. Bring my tea into the drawing room. Has in the paper come yet? What are the two questions the uh, father is to ask? You please get my tea in the drawing room. The second one is, where is the newspaper? And mother, go and see if my paper is, uh, paper is out there and bring me my slippers. And she is to call his mother and say, please mother, go and see my, the papers are there. And also you get me my slippers. These are the things who used to demand. Her father used to demand to his father, mother, sorry, his mother. Whose mother? Uh, this little girl's 
father's mother. Kesia. What's the name of the girl? Kesia. Kesia. Mother would call to her. If you are a good girl, you can come down and take off father's boots. Slowly, the girl would slip down the stairs. More slowly, still across the hall and push open the drawing room door. What do the girl do? The mother used to call, ask her to come down and used to uh, give her uh, what the orders. What are the orders? If you are a good girl, go and uh, get remove whose shoes? The father's shoes. And what, what do the girl do? She used to come down very slowly and uh, she used to pass the hall and then enters where? Enters the drawing room door. By that time, he had his spectacles on, looked at her over them in a way that was terrifying to the little girl. By the time the man, his fa her father he used to uh, wear the specs and what she he used to say? In a terrifying to the little girl, she used, he used to look at her. In which way? The, normally, she he looks at her, but she is to get the what terrifying. What is terrifying means frightening. She feels that is very frightful. She is afraid of whom? Afraid of her father. Well, Kesia, hurry up and pull off these boots and take them outside. Have you been a good girl today? What do the father ask her to do? The father asks her to remove his shoes and ask her to go and keep it outside and the second question is whether she had been a good girl that day that is the second question who asked the father ask her see the way how she replies i do do don't know father because she is actually what she is doing wiki wiki aparina she is not uh, she is very afraid very much afraid isn't it that's why i i i don't 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 know father I don't know father. That is what she gives. You don't know? If you stutter like that, mother will have to take you to the doctor. Stutter. Stutter means have difficulty in uh, talking. And that mother will have to take you to the, host, uh, to the doctor. I have to show you to the doctor. She never stuttered with other people, had quite given it up. But only with father because then she was trying so hard to say the words properly. She became very conscious in front of whom? In front of her father. That is why she can't speak uh, nicely before whom? Before the father. Otherwise with other people when she speaks she does not uh, stutter. What is the matter? What are you looking so wretched about? She, another thing she he is asking, the father is asking. Wretched means unhappy. Why, what is the matter? What happened to you? That is what who is asking the next question, the father. What are you looking? Why are you looking so uh, unhappy today? Mother, I wish you taught this child not to appear on the brink of suicide. Brink means position. So, uh, I wish you taught this girl not to appear on the brink of suicide. That means the, she, he is asking his mother to train her to be always happy. Here, Kesia. Carry my teacup back to the table carefully. The second order, the father is asking Kesia to take the uh, pot, the cup back to the uh, table very carefully. He was so big. His hands and his neck, especially his mouth when he yawned. He was so big. What is, whose opinion is this? Kesia's opinion. Who was very big? The father was big. His hands and his neck, especially his mouth when he yawned. Especially which, which are the which parts are so big, so huge? Here, father's hands, his neck, and especially his mouth. That is also especially when he yawns. That time it looks so huge. Thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant. See, the girl is uh, comparing the father to whom? The girl is comparing the father to a giant. On Sunday afternoons, grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with father and mother. In the after Sunday afternoons, they used to be at home, isn't it? What the grandma asked her? She used to send her down, downstairs and ask her, you go and talk with whom? You go and talk with your father and mother. But the little girl always found mother reading and father uh, stretched out on the sofa his handkerchief on his face, his feet on one of the best cushions, sleeping soundly and snoring. So, what, what the little girl always found, what the mother was doing, mother is always busy in reading 
and what the father used to do stretch stretch means expanded stretched out on the sofa he was just lying down on the sofa and where what was the handkerchief he there what did he do with the handkerchief his handkerchief on his face he covers his face with a handkerchief his feet on one of the best cushions he used to put his uh, feet on the cushion and sleeping soundly and snoring what is snoring kurkamulikya alle valare nalla shabdam undaki deep sleep la who was sleeping the father was sleeping that is what we used to observe the girl used to observe she sat on the on a stool gravely watched him until he woke and stretched and asked the time then looked at her what she do she used to sit go and sit there near a stool gravely gravely means seriously and watched him he used to observe him very seriously until he woke until he used to get up father used to get up and stretch and ask the time then looked at her don't stare so kesia you look like a little brown owl <laughs> the father used to make fun of her isn't it what do you what did he have the father uh, call her owl what is he is comparing the kesia with a brown owl one day when she was kept indoors with a cold her grandmother told her that father's birthday was next week and suggested she should make him a pin cushion for a gift out of the out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk the grandmother uh, what what it is what it uh, she say she said that father's birthday is coming you have to prepare a cushion so uh, out of what out of a beautiful yellow silk cloth laboriously with a double uh, cotton laboriously means with a, a lot of effort or difficulty the little girl stitched three sides but with lot taken a lot of pain and she stitched the uh, uh, three sides of the uh, cushion but what to fill it with generally in the pillows and cushions we have to fill it with either cotton isn't it so same way that was the question the grandmother was out in the garden grandmother was not there at home she was outside and she wandered into mother's bedroom to look for uh, scraps on the bed table scraps means small pieces of cloth or paper etc that are not needed waste papers isn't it that was what who was searching kesia was searching on the bed table she discovered a great many sheets of fine paper what did she saw in the bed table a lot of papers were kept and gathered them up she what did she do she just gathered them and tore them into tiny pieces she did not ask even the father or mother whether those papers are needed or not she just picked them and she started tearing them and she tore them into small small pieces and stuffed her case then she stuffed the cushion with those papers then sewed up the fourth side and the fourth fourth side also she just uh, stitched Uh, stitched that night there was a hue and cry in the house hue and cry means lot of noise who was shouting the father was shouting there was uh, a hue and cry in the house father's great speech for the port authority had been lost actually what was missing father had written a speech and kept it she has to present the speech in front of the port authority so that was not there rooms were searched the whole room were searched the uh, speech servants questions he called the all the servants and started questioning finally mother came into kesia's room kesia i suppose you did not see some papers on a table in our room did you take those papers oh yes she said i tore them up for my surprise what did she reply yes i picked up i have to uh, make a surprise for that purpose what screamed mother who shouted the mother shouted come straight down to the dining room this instant this instant means this moment you come down to the dining room and she was dragged down to where father was pacing to and fro hands behind his back or oh, dragged means pull who pulled her the mother pulled her and taken her to where taken her to, her to the uh, drawing room and where was she he kept his hands on the back side he was walking to and fro going forward and backward well he said sharply who was angry the father is angry mother explained he had stopped and stared at the child he was so angry and she he stared at her 
Did you do that? Did you take my papers? No, she whispered. Mother, go up to her room and fetch down the damn thing. She see that the child, uh, child has put to bed this instant. Damn thing means in order to express the anger. So that's what uh, he said. See that the child is put to bed this instant. This instant, you just ask her to sleep. Crying too much to explain, she lay in the shadowed room, watching the evening light make a, make a sad little pattern on the floor. Crying too much to explain. She was literally crying. She lay, she was put to bed in the shadowed room, watching the evening light make a sad little pattern on the floor. She was lying down on the bed. She had seen the shadow created by what? By the evening light, which was coming through the window. Then father came into the room with a ruler in his hands. What is ruler? Scale. Father brought a scale along with him. I am going to beat you for this, he said. What did the father say? I am going to give you a nice beating because you had stolen my speech. Oh, no, 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 she screamed. Who started uh, uh, making noise? The girl started making noise, hiding under the bedclothes. What did she do? She just covered her face with a, a bedcloth. He pulled them aside. He uh, separated that bedsheet. Sit up, he ordered. And hold out your hands. You must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belong to you. I wanted to teach you a lesson. You are not supposed to take things which is not belonging to you. This lesson I have to teach you. But it was for, for your birthday, Papa. For he, she is not calling father. He, she said that it is for the birthday. Down came the ruler on her little pink palms. He had given her beating. Isn't it? Pink color hands. Isn't it? And hours later, when grandmother had wrapped her in a shawl and roped her in the rocking chair, the child clung to her soft body. Who was very much attached? The grandmother is very much attached to her. What did the grandma do? Grandmother covered her with a uh, watch shawl and uh, she just sat in a rocking chair and just moved the chair, isn't it? And the child clung. Clung is the past tense of cling. What is cling spelling? C-L-I-N-G. Cling, clung, clung. That is uh, cling means holding, hold tightly. Who was holding her tightly? The grandma was told, uh, holding the kesia very tightly. And she was, uh, was clung to her soft body. Mama, grandma, soft body. She was very much attached to her. What did God make fathers for? She saw. Why do we have father? <laughs> father, who was asking? The little girl was asking. Here is a clean hangy darling. Blow your nose. Go to sleep. Pet, you will forget all about it in the morning. Grandma is having a lot of patience. What did she say? You take, pick up your handkerchief, clean your nose and eyes and you go to sleep in the morning. Everything will be all right. I tried to explain to father, but he was too upset to listen tonight. So, what did she say that? He was about to explain why did she uh, take the papers, was not ready to listen to her. The father was not ready to listen to her. But the child never forgot. Next time she saw him, she quickly put both hands behind her back and a red color flew into her cheeks. But the girl, the girl when she was... Uh, um, the next morning also when she met her father, she did not forget uh, the whom the anger, whose anger, the father's anger. What did she do? She uh, just quickly put both the hands behind her back and her face was reddish in color. The McDonald's lived next door. That incident is over. Next she, uh, the, her, their neighbors, about the, their neighbor, the other is written. McDonald's, that was the name of the person who was staying next to their house. They had five children. So, they had how many children? The neighbor had five children. Looking through a gap in the fence, the little girl saw them playing tag in the evening. Tag is a children's game for catching one another. So, in the evening, she used to see the neighbor's children used to play which game? The tag. And the father with the baby Mao on his shoulders. Father always carrying the little child named Mao on his shoulders. Two little girls hanging onto his coat pockets ran around and around the flower beds, shaking with laughter. 
and two children is to be hung on her on his hands and they is to move round and round there the uh, garden and they were all laughing so once she saw the boys turned the hose on him and he tried to catch them laughing all the time one day he had uh, even observed the boy was stay turning the hose isn't it water uh, for watering the uh, what the pipe they use generally to water the plants isn't it uh, so that hose is turning towards him they were all laughing and the father was trying to catch the children they were all playing now, that means the father was playing with who playing with the children so she is uh, she is observing the neighbors uh, neighbor neighboring house the ch uh, father is playing with the children and laughing and uh, they were making uh, enjoying the life and at her house what was happening the father is very angry always busy isn't it that's a difference who observed kesia observed then it was uh, sh then it was she decided there were different sorts of fathers now she realized that different types of fathers are there suddenly one day mother became ill and she and grandmother went to hospital so one day uh, at home her mother and grandmother were unwell uh, both of them went together to the hospital the little girl was left alone in the house with alice the cook who was only there at home the cook what was the name of the cook alice that was all right in the daytime daytime it was okay because uh, but while alice was putting her to bed she grew suddenly afraid so at the night time who was making her sleep the cook what was the name of the cook alice and uh, she put her into the bed and who was uh, very afraid kesia was afraid what shall i do if i have a nightmare she asked I often have nightmares and then granny takes me into her bed. I can't stay in the dark. It all gets whispery. What is she thinking? Now um, this cook that is Alice. Alice had put her in the bed. Now she mother is not there. Grandma is not there. So she started thinking what will I do if I have a nightmare? What is nightmare? Nightmare is the bad dream. She asks, I often, generally she used to get the nightmare. That time, who is to look, uh, takes, uh, takes care of her? Grandma is there. But I can't stay in the dark. It all gets whispery. Whispery is the sounds, isn't it? From here and there, I used to get the sounds. You just go to sleep, child, said Alice, pulling off her socks. And don't you scream and wake your poor pa. Pa is the father. So, the, what, what, are the, what is the another instruction given by the cook? You just uh, go to sleep. You don't uh, wake up who? Wake up your father. But the same old nightmare came. The butcher with a knife and a rope. Who came nearer and nearer. Smiling that dreadful smile. While she could not move. Could only stand still. Crying out. Grandma. Grandma. She woke shivering to see father beside her bed. A candle in his hand. What happened? Generally, she used to see a nightmare. What is what was the nightmare she uh, she used to see? A butcher. Butcher, you all know, isn't it? The person who me cuts the meat with a knife and her rope. She had she used to see a, the in a dream. In her dream, a butcher with a knife and a rope, and who used to come near to her and smiling. And what type of smile this man used to have? He used to have a dreadful smile. What is dreadful means? Fearful smile. While she could not move. Uh, when, whenever she, this man used to come in her dream, she can't move. She can't make noise. So, could only stand still. And she used to cry out. Grandma, grandma. So, in the sleep itself, she started calling her grandmother. So, while hearing this noise, who comes uh, to her, her room? The father. And uh, she, he was uh, carrying a candle in his hand. What is the matter? He asked. The father asked the child, uh, why are you crying? Oh, a butcher, a knife. I want granny. What did she say? I had seen a butcher and a knife. So, I wanted to uh, go back to the granny. He blew out the candle, bent down and caught up the child in his arms, carrying her along the passage to a big bedroom. What did the father do? He just picked up the child and uh, he had taken the child to her his room. A newspaper was on the bed. What was the father doing? Father must be reading the newspaper. He put away the paper. He just removed the newspaper. Then carefully tucked up the child. Tucked up means covered up nicely in bed. 
and he lay down beside her and he just lie down be beside the child half asleep still still with the butcher's smile all about her it seemed she crept close to him whenever she tries to sleep what happens the whose smile is to come uh, in front of her the butcher's smile and she crept close to him crept means she crawled close to his uh, to her father snuggled her head under his arm snuggled means moved into a warm and comfortable position close to another person here who is the another person the father's side uh, snuggled her head under his arm held tightly to his shirt he is asked holding whose shirt the father's shirt tightly then the dark did not matter she lay still then uh, she became very bold because uh, whose uh, side she is sleeping the father's side here rub your feet against my leg and get them warm father said father what is the instruction father said you please ask the girl to rub her feet against whose legs against the father's leg so that what will happen her uh, feet will become warm tired uh, tired out he slept before the little girl the little girl didn't sleep so fast who slept off the father because he uh, he was coming from the office a funny feeling came over her poor father not so big after all and with no one to look after him so she started uh, changing her attitude towards her father now lying beside him he started thinking that father is very nice he was harder than grandmother but he has muscles and all isn't it father grandma is having a very soft skin and but it was a nice hardness he start she started enjoying the hardness of who the father and every day he had to work now she is her thoughts are uh, explained here father has to go to work every day and was too tired to be a uh, mr macdonald now she is comparing her father with the neighboring ch children uh, father senate who is the neighbor the macdonald she is saying that father is always busy that's why he can't be like who he can't be like a Uh, like mr macdonald she had torn up all his beautiful writing now she is uh, thinking about why did he, her father uh, beat her so why because the important papers were torn by her she stirred suddenly stirred means just uh, moved suddenly and sighed she had taken a deep breath what's the matter ask her father another dream father just awaken and ask her did you see another dream Oh said the little girl my head is on your heart i can hear it going what a big heart you have got father dear what did she say i am uh, see my head is on your heart so i can hear the beating sound of your heart and you have a very uh, big heart uh, dear father she used the word dear father in the beginning what did she what did she used to feel uh, father once he left for the office means He is to be very relieved, and now she started liking her father. That is the uh, theme of the lesson. The girl's attitude towards the father is changing. Clear? Now it is changed. I hope you understood. If you have any doubts, you can contact me. Thank you.